Hi guys. Welcome to a new Windows tutorial video. Today I will show you how to use Rufus to make a bootable USB. This procedure is compatible with Windows XP to Windows 11. Sometimes Microsoft Media Creation Tool does not work for the bootable process. I've previously posted a video on this channel explaining how to create a bootable USB flash drive using a media creation tool. If you did not see that yet, the link will be in the video description. Let's go back to the point. As you may be aware, there is no official bootable tool for Windows 7 and Windows 8 users. Generally, we use third-party bootable software for them. In such a case, Rufus is one of the best bootable replacement software. Also sometimes the official Microsoft tool throws some error. In that situation, we cannot use the media creation tool as well. Rufus will help us to resolve all the issues. And it's a free tool by the way. First of all, we need to download the Windows ISO file. If you want to make Windows 7 bootable USB then you need Windows 7 ISO. For Windows 10 you need a Windows 10 ISO file. In this video, I will show you for Windows 10 version. The process is the same for all types of Windows versions. Let's download the Windows 10 ISO file first. Open your browser and download the ISO file. You can see the download progress from the bottom, or you can see it from your browser download list as well. Go to download list by clicking on three dot from the top right corner and selecting download. Here is our ISO file for Windows 10. If you don't have the download link, you can send me a text. Contact details will be in the video description. Now we need to download Rufus. Open a new tab. Search for Rufus download. Open the Rufus website. I will put the Rufus download link in the video description as well. Click on the download button. Download progress can be seen from the bottom or from the download list as I have shown you earlier. Go to download list. Here you can see we have both Rufus and Windows ISO files ready. Now click on show on the folder. Open Rufus by right click on it and selecting open. Now we need to plug in our USB flash drive. A minimum 8 GB capacity USB flash drive is required for this process. Make sure you don't have any files on the USB. The file will be erased by this process. I have plugged my 16 GB USB flash drive. You can see it on the device list. Now click on the select button and choose your Windows ISO downloaded file. It will be by default on your download folder. Now we need to select the appropriate partition scheme. There are two types of partition schemes. One is GPT and another one is MBR. If you want to install Windows on a new build device where you don't have any Windows installed before, you can choose GPT from here. GPT is the latest version. But if you are trying to install on an existing Windows device then you need to select according to your older version of Windows. Let's find out my current Windows partition scheme. Open your computer folder. Right-click on computer and select manage. Click on disk management from the left. Now right-click on your Windows installed drive or your main hard disk, that is the first one. Select properties. Click on the volume tab. Here you can see the partition style that is MBR for my device. Your one might be different. This can be checked another way. Search on the start menu for diskm.msc and open it. Then right click on your main hard disk and select properties. Click the volume tab. Here you can see it's saying MBR. Select MBR from Rufus partition schemes. Now click on the start button. It's showing you the warning. 
that it will format your USB flash drive. Make sure there are no files in your USB flash drive. Click OK. It will start the bootable process. It may take around 20 minutes depending on your computer speed. Here we go, it's ready to use. Let's check our USB flash drive. Open your USB. We can see the necessary setup file here. Now you can use this USB for the installation from your boot menu. I hope this video will clear your all the confusion. If you still have any questions or difficulties, don't hesitate to contact me. If you find this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for today. I will get you in the next one. Thank you.